Yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. All right, now I know a lot of people have been asking me questions way back in the day about Royal products. What are my thoughts on them and everything like that? And at the same time, I've been getting flooded with comments and questions, whether if I go live on Facebook or whatever the case is, people ask me my thoughts on this goat drip products and everything like that. Now, normally, I tend to stay away from doing certain product reviews because in this day and age, I don't know why, but when it comes to music, you have positive music reviews and then you have negative music reviews. When it comes to movies, you have positive and negatives. You know what I'm saying? Even when it comes to sports, you have positive and negative reviews. People can have their own opinion and everything like that. But for whatever reason, whenever it comes to the wave game, if somebody comes out with a negative review all of a sudden is deemed as hate and the person that came out with it is called the hater and blah 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 but whenever i speak on something y'all already know i always bring the facts you know what i'm saying so with that being said if what i'm saying is true it can't be called hate but i know people are already gonna do that i'm gonna get into the reason why i, I never bought rare products and one of the reasons why i say it's a scam you know what i'm saying and, and after i said it then you guys will be able to make your own informed decision but I'm also give my thoughts on this new go drip butter and all that stuff like that, you know. So with that being said, let's get into the first product line, the Royal products. Now I have to give you guys some history, you know what I'm saying? Whenever it comes to Facebook, there's two known pages as of right now that's really the most active on Facebook and everything like that. The first one is Elise Spins. Elise Spins is one of the original pages. I'm not saying it was the very first page. I'm just saying it's one of the original pages that's still active to this day that has some of the top waivers and everything like that. People that truly influenced and created this wave game, either if they stayed in the group or not, you know what I'm saying? Then you have Natural Elites, right? Now, when it comes to these two different groups, the admins are very different. When it comes to Elite Spins, Elite Spins is more like a barbershop. Now, in the barbershop, you can talk about any and everything. People think you're only supposed to talk about waves, but in a barbershop, you can talk about the haircut, but at the same time, you can talk about sports. Sometimes dudes be getting roasted in flame, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at Elite Spins. It's like a barbershop to chill for all of the best waivers and for people that's trying to become the best. Now, whenever it comes to any any was created because PB couldn't get over on the people within that group. And at the same time, he was trying to compete with 360 Jeezy by creating a page and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So he created his own page. And to be honest, his page probably has the most members on Facebook. But at the same time, they have a different way of running their page. Now, when you when it comes to any, you can't talk about no other product. You can't have no critical or no honest feedback about anything in regards to them or you will get booted, you know? Now, if you wanna be on that page, that's I only said it to say that's what you need to understand, but with Elite Spins, you can basically say almost anything that you wanna say as long as you're not disrespecting people on a personal level, right? So you can talk about somebody waves, you can roast them, you can roast somebody wave content and everything like that, but when you start getting personal, then that's when you get booted, or if you start trying to scam and get over on the community, they boot you as well, right? Now, the reason why I said it is because when it comes to products, one of the first people to create a product that was a waiver, his name was Ant Green. He came up with Seasick Pomade. And whenever he came out with his product, he always made sure he tried to either put a product label on there or he had the ingredients posted on his website. Now, the second person that actually innovated and came out with a product was this dude named Rico. Now, some of you guys may know Rico by simply the remix do rags, but at the same time, Rico came out with these things called remix wave butters he had oils he had pomades almost anything you could think about double butter moisturizers and everything like that and the thing that set rico apart was that he was able to customize things you know what i'm saying he actually offered you customized scents you know what i'm saying this one that i'm holding in my hand is cherry almond he had a whole bunch of flavor scents and everything back in the day when it came to rico products one thing that you guys don't understand is back in the day they used to have all these different titles that you can win and if a waiver won a title what they sometimes would do is they would get sponsored by different companies so you had companies like cold label sponsoring events you had companies like remix uh, sponsoring events even bk sponsored several events over the years you know what i'm saying so that's just something that people do to give back hd waves are sponsored events legion sauce sponsored different events things like that you know what i'm saying this is just something that you should do to give back to the community that supports you because at the end of the day most of these butters y'all think these butters cost a lot of money to make but they really don't now this is where copy blasted enters the picture because this dude ended up winning some titles on facebook and everything like that and long story short i don't want y'all to think that i'm just over here just spitting all this stuff like this so i'm gonna be dropping some screenshots you know what i'm saying that people sent me whenever i was determining what products i should buy you know and with that being said whenever it came to uh, considering royal products 
One thing that I learned was that Royal products came after Remix products. Now, that right there is very significant because one thing that y'all don't understand is that Copy Blasted actually used to be on Team Remix, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day when Remix dropped his butter and everything like that, he used to be chanting Team Remix and everything like this, you know what I'm saying? Basically supporting the brand. He would be getting sponsored a whole bunch of products and stuff like that. But at the same time, this dude has always been about money. PB actually won some titles and it got to a point where he came and asked Rico for some money. And he was like, yo, I think it's time that I get paid. Being a small business that Rico is, he told he simply told him, you know what, like I can't afford to pay people right now, but later on down the line, I, I plan on being able to pay the people that are sponsoring my products. But like I said, this dude was all about the money. Now, once Rico told him that, he quit Team Remix, and a few months later, tell me why Royal Products came out on the market. Oh, these girls ain't Now, what most of you guys finally know nowadays, because a lot of people thought that PB actually came over with the product, but ever since day one, it was another guy that made the products or whatever the case is. But the reason why there was a lot of questions and speculations in regards to Royal Products is simply because as soon as PB quit Team Remix, he joined on two Royal Products and everything like that. And one thing I want to point out is they start selling their products for at least $20, you know what I'm saying? So just fast forward a little bit, one of the people that's on the lease bins, he's actually a licensed cosmetologist and he's actually a licensed barber, you know what I'm saying? He goes by the name a baldy now i'm not gonna drop his personal name but this dude did a review on royal products and i'm gonna just roll the clip it been in my cabinet look at that it's like a cracked up Ooh. sidewall it ain't supposed to be Ooh. concrete in my sh i can't even stick my, my look at that i can't even put my finger in the thing so ridiculous after he did his review, a lot of people respected him because at the end of the day, they know he's an unbiased person, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, it really made a lot of people ask the question, what the heck are in these Royal products? And by that time, that's when a lot of people started comparing Remix products as well as Royal products. A lot of people was like, man, they both smell almost the same. The texture and the consistency is almost the same. So a lot of the speculation comparing the two start coming up, you know what I'm saying? At that same time, I think Rico finally got in his Drake mode and he got tired of his enemies basically eating off of his ingredients and everything like that and he came out and basically said the royal products was a direct copy off of his remix products you know what i'm saying ran off on the floor twice he's daddy calling i ain't calling by now Back in the day, up until this point, nobody knew what the heck was in Royal Products, you know what I'm saying? So when you look at Remix ingredients, you see that Rico has a whole bunch of ingredients into his products, and they're charged, like I told you, somewhere between $10, maybe $15, or whatever the case is. But when it comes to Royal Products, there's no product label. To this day, there is still no website after all the years of him saying, oh, we're going to come out with a website, blah, 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 blah. And at the same time, the products are priced way above the market price in regards to the the, the, the supposedly ingredients that, that was put in it. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is where some people may call me a hater, but I honestly don't care because a lot of people ask me, J. Lou, so what's your thoughts on RTB? If you don't know what RTB is, RTB is simply this thing that they call Royal Thickening Butter. Now, whenever it came to the Royal Thickening Butter, they were still, I think, somewhere between $25 and above or whatever. And this is where the real scam comes in that because a lot of people don't understand but whenever it comes to men a lot of people struggle with baldness and a lot of people are concerned with baldness i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna make a video in the future basically about how to truly thicken your hair up and everything like that as well as going to the details about what affects your hair but as of right now what i want to focus on whenever you try to offer something as a growth product to men they're gonna try to flock to it because a lot of people are like man i'm desperate to try to get my hair back blah 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 so a lot of people bought this product thinking like you know what it's 25 dollars. it's a little bit even though it's a little bit more i'm willing to buy it without realizing that there's other products on the market that are way more effective because one little thing i would say is whenever it comes to growing your hair a oil is way better than a butter you don't want to put a butter in your hair to, to help promote hair growth and that's one reason why i always recommend people buy either legion sauce or the wild hair growth oil and the one that i always refer to is the white bottom you know what i'm saying now with both of those products they're both sold somewhere between ten dollars depending on wherever you copy from and i think with uh, legion sauce you can add different things into it it'd be 10 to 15 and that's with shipping included you know 
So the reason why I say that there's a scam is because they're over here selling somebody some products. And if you guys put two and two together, this dude made it seem like him and his homeboy came up with the product. And it's been taking us a long time, man. It took a long time time for us to perfect this product but now all of a sudden when he comes out with his new product he basically comes out and says oh i was just a sponsor of that product you know what i'm saying my homeboy made that product and i was just sponsoring and promoting it but this is something i find kind of funny because a lot of people always tend to say oh man support bobs we gotta support black owned businesses man this y'all over here buying jordans for x y and z why you can't support this person over here when all of the other products that i mentioned are owned by black owned businesses you know what i'm saying now as a segue what i don't like is whenever you have VOBs coming out here whenever they're knocking our own people over the head with these very expensive products simply because they're trying to get over on them and and honestly it's a slap in the face to you guys because it's like they're saying man you guys are stupid enough to believe whatever I say a lot of times people try to come to me and say hey, AJ Lou I'm gonna pay you for a product review or a video or whatever and I turn them down you know what I'm saying sadly a lot of people have turned against me simply because I didn't want to sell out you know what I'm saying simply because I didn't want to promote something that I didn't feel was good but enough of that you know what I'm saying so let's get back into the royal products so now he's saying that he was only a sponsor of the products he didn't make the products his homeboy made the products and everything like that but now he's come out with his own product you know what i'm saying the goat drip which to me it sounds like a venereal disease you know what i'm saying <laughs> But that's a whole nother story. Now, whenever it comes to this new product, he finally came out with a website, you know what I'm saying? Let's clap it up for that. He finally has product labels. Let's clap it up for that, you know what I'm saying? But I think the cheapest product that he has is like, Bro, bro, you tripping. Oh, now you tripping, tripping. God. Now let's look at the ingredients. Now when you look at these ingredients, there's not a lot of ingredients, you know what I'm saying? Basically, if you look at his butter compared to Remix product labels, he showed you guys an arm and a leg for less ingredients, but when you look at Remix products, his products are priced at the actual market price, you know what I'm saying? Now, just looking at this alone should tell you guys that the reason why this is considered a scam. But at the same time, I understand that, hey, look, if you got fans, if you got people that truly support you, that believe in you, and they just want to buy your product off the strength of your name, go ahead and do that. I'm not I'm not against that. But whenever this dude is out here telling people that, oh, man, these ingredients are amazing. It's top of the shelf, top of the line, blah, 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 blah. But they got other products such as Diva products. When you look at her ingredients, she gives you a long list of exotic ingredients. And most of her products are somewhere between $15 with shipping included. Now, I bring up these other the company should be able to show you guys reference points because at the end of the day my channel has always been focused on being able to teach you guys how to be educated consumers so many people will look at a channel and because of the subscribers and, and everything like that they'll be like oh man this person must know what they talking about but at the end of the day a lot of people will try to finesse their own people simply because of their name and that's one reason why i would never ever cop those products at the same time i would never recommend that somebody else would personally when it comes to butter you shouldn't be paying no more than twenty dollars now the last thing i want to say is the reason why i called this dude copy blasted wasn't only because he was copying word for word in regards to our videos people took that as me trying to say no he was copying video topics it wasn't video topics it was video topics but at the same time it was also word for word what other people in the wave game was saying it wasn't just me that he was copying word for word from you know what i'm saying but when you look at the ingredients that's on the back of this goat drip butter they're almost damn near the exact same as remix products and like i told you guys remix products are sold at about ten dollars or whatever the case is you know what i'm saying his products are sold at 35 so he over here knocking his own people over the head to feed his pockets and everything like that. But y'all mad at me because I'm giving y'all the facts just to help y'all save some money. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you really just want to support him because you're a fan and everything like that, go ahead and do it. But most of y'all, y'all think y'all fans of him, but y'all really fans of other people's work that he never, ever gave them credit for. And that's one of the reasons why he hate me because at the end of the day, he can delete all the comments off of his YouTube videos. He can delete and boot people out of natural elites. But when it comes to this video, he can't delete it. You know what I'm saying? Now, the last thing I want to say that should be the nail in the coffin is when it come when it came to the royal thickening butter products that he promoted and all that stuff like that one thing that y'all probably didn't realize is because he's a finesser that's what finessers do they get over on people but if you go back and look at this one video in this video he's telling people well, hey man use rtb blah 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 but in the video he starts saying but if that doesn't work then start using all these other products blah 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 you can't just think that it's gonna work by itself you gotta use something else with it use biotin with it you feel me Sometimes you gotta use certain. Now, the reason why I'm drawing attention to this is because a lot of times people 
in their pursuit of trying to get their hair to grow back and everything like that, what they tend to do is they just use anything, you know what I'm saying? So they'll buy RTB, they'll buy biotin, they'll buy all this different stuff, you know what I'm saying? They be doing all this stuff to try to try to get their hair back because all they're concerned about is getting their hair back. And once their hair grows a little bit, they'll be like, oh man, RTB is the reason why my hair grew back. And I'm looking at them like, dude, have you probably considered the fact that you change up your diet, that you start using other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, but with that being said, I'm gonna have a video coming about the truth about biotin as well as how you can grow your hair thicker and everything, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, it's your boy J. Lou. I know I'm gonna catch a whole bunch of flack for this, but at the end of the day, my channel is built off of me speaking the facts and speaking my mind about things, you know what I'm saying? Now me, I personally don't hate nobody. I just hate whenever people are getting taken advantage of and I see because I'm a YouTuber and, and I see that they're over here manipulating people and I got all these kids in my comments saying, yo man, should I really buy this product? It's really expensive. Or there's even people that's in college that's, that happen to watch his videos as well as watch my videos and they over here saying, J. Lou, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm in college, I can't afford that. You know what I'm saying? I respect him. I want to buy his product, blah, blah, blah. What are your thoughts about this? That's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video is because you guys need to be informed about making your decisions. Don't waste your money on something that's a basic ingredient mix you know what i'm saying if you really want to get your money's worth i'm gonna put a link down in the description of, of diva hair products where you can go find her products i'm gonna also put a link to legion sauce you know what i'm saying i'm gonna also put a link to uh the remix way butters and everything like that so you guys can go and support legitimate bobs because at the end of the day it's not about supporting every single bob it's about supporting the good ones you know what i'm saying so with that being said it's your boy j lou i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day Salute. Just in time, nigga. I don't like niggas like him. I hope somebody recording that too. He's a bitch. I don't like that nigga, bro. Don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you. Don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you.